budget magic time, playing some blue green emerge in standard. Eldritch Moon standard. Uh, and this hand is awesome. We don't have a finisher, but we have ways to find our finishers, and if we just draw into it. Alright, looks like our opponent is on humans. So hopefully we can just go over the top of humans. Yabmaya Coast, go. Battlefield Forge for our opponent, and Thraben Inspector. Gets a clue. And Town Gossip Monger. Alright, opponent is going wide. Uh, let's just play a Duskwatch. Because it makes it so if our opponent wants to flip their Kytheon, we at least get to kill one of their things. Never mind. Maybe they just have a Declaration in Stone. Well, our opponent's last card in hand was the one card they could possibly have that would do what they needed. So that happens sometimes. Opponent gets a Kytheon. Out of cards, but... It might be enough. One drop, one drop, one drop on the play. And the single declaration in stone, which made the whole thing work. Without the declaration in stone here, I'm pretty sure they lose. Because we just eat Gossip Monger. If they flip Gideon, we immediately can attack it. They pump up the Gideon. Uh, but we Island and Sky Spawner. So I think our best bet here is to draw into some of our big stuff to finish the game. Unfortunately, we might have to start doing some chumping in the not-too-distant future. Knight of the White Orchid for our opponent. Activates the Gideon. Goes attacking. Um... Yeah, I think we just got to take it for now. Down to eight. Not where we want to be. They're going to flip their Gossip Monger. All right, we play Sanctum of Ugin. We play Foul Emissary. See what we find here. We really need Elder Deep Fiend, I think. No, I guess we just take Whirler Rogue. Not an Elder Deep Fiend. And then we attack Gideon. Down to three. Pass the turn. Activates Gideon. Swings with everything. So we just block and block, and then sack our Scion, and sack our Clue. Get a Woodland Stream. Still haven't found any finishers. Down to five. Down to four. Opponent sacks our Clue. And Expedition Envoy. Scion? Or Elder Deep uh, Elder Deep Fiend? That's what we need here. Sanctum of Ugin. Well, one, two, three, and four. Whirler Rogue makes some blockers. So if we attack Gideon, we have to block, 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 and go to one? Chump, chump, chump. No, chump, 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 go to one. Yeah, I mean, I guess that's what we do. Attack Gideon. Woodland Stream, pass the turn. Still goes back to that Declaration in Stone on turn two or three. That was the game right there. And our opponent found another Declaration in Stone. All right. Well, good running. Uh, I think we just run it back. We can go over the top of this deck, and we have blockers. Our opponent just uh, managed to be on the play and have the perfect set of cards there. So we get to play first. And we have zero colorless lands. 
And now we have no two drops. Oh my lord. Apparently Magic Online just hates us. Alright, I mean, we'll, we'll try this, but... We have five colorless lands in the deck. And 19 colored lands. So it's pretty unfortunate that, uh... That we just have to mulligan like that. Especially since this is a matchup I actually want to see how this works out. But we're not getting a very good look at how it works because of mulliganing. Leaf Gilder that we can't cast. Well, we get to cast a Sky Spawner. But unless we draw a forest next turn, it likely won't really matter. And even if we do, it probably won't matter. Anointer of Champions for our opponent. Because we have things that make multiple creatures, which are good at blocking all the white creatures. And then we also get to go over the top of them with Elder Deep Fiend and Decimator. Opponent's going to go attacking. We are going to kill their stuff. And, alright. I mean... Can't do anything about variants, unfortunately. 